Boy, right, this is elevator. This is my elevator modification part four, maybe. Yes, yeah, part four of this elevator modification. So we're gonna continue with the tape because we're not done with the tape yet. So let's continue with the tape. Let me skip the supplies. It's just one roll of tape. Right. So. Right, we're gonna continue with this elevator. I have to put it on the floor because I don't have space to, you know, fix stuff. Okay, so there's a problem here, and this stick, this part here, bends in this way. And see, it's straight like this, but if you let it go, it bends just a little bit. And this doors out of its track that's why i was hitting the stick and it's a bit rough too oh it's out of its track again there we go right i'm gonna continue fixing this elevator <clears throat> before we move on to anything else we need to fix this elevator um, need to replace this tape. I'm just making these videos because it's, um, they don't reach 1,500 videos by Halloween and 2021 by, by 2021. So, put this here and just push it in. So for Halloween, I was thinking of doing a car show. With all my cars and trucks like this, because I got a new car. I demonstrated this Friday, but this is the elevator, and it does align with the door tracks. I mean the door clips. I'm not sure door tabs, and. This part seems okay, so we're basically done with this part. Yesterday I made a video of this part. Actually, I'm not sure if it was yesterday or Monday. This has to be in here because it squishes this part since this uh, sticks out just a tiny bit. And if I cut it, and if I modify the elevator, because there's something wrong with it. And, and so... And, it ends up too tight. Then I'm gonna have to replace that part. That part was replaced. That's not original, but I, but I lost the original inner door and the original side piece here. Okay, now we're gonna continue with the. Actually, that's gonna be it for this video. The next part will be in the next video, after this video uploads.